Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Today we're playing a brand new game, it's called Pillow. This is a mixed reality experience, you have to be lying down. I'm in bed, so let's dive in. Okay, Pillow 1.5.8. Um, I've got some arrows on my hands. Okay, give it to the sheep. This is really cool. Welcome to Pillow. Pillow is the start of an amazing experiment. It's the first immersive app designed to be played while laying down in bed, and it offers a wide range of immersive dreams designed to help you wind down and relax. You can play these dreams by yourself or with a friend right next to you in multiplayer. We have four dreams available right now with many more on the way, so join us in our community at pillow.social to help us craft the future of laying down in VR, or just if you're looking to make friends. Before we get into it, here are a couple of pointers. Pillow was designed to be plain laying down, so always make sure you're on a comfy bed or couch before you get started for the absolute best experience. And if you want to exit an experience, simply look to your left where you will always find an exit button next to you. We hope that you enjoy Pillow, have fun, and have a relaxing rest of your day. This is available on the App Lab. Okay, we've got some dreams here, look. There's my feet. I'm going to fall asleep, aren't I? So we grab a dream and then we place it into the uh, slot there. What's this one? Stargazer. Welcome to our stargazing dream. This is a relaxing stargazing experience that lets you explore the night sky unlike anything else. Drag the sky with your hand to rotate around it. Point to the sky to see the names of the constellations above you and grab them to discover their shapes and hear about the stories and mythologies behind each one. Once you're done listening to a constellation, you can put it inside the star ball to your right to travel straight to it, where you will be greeted by a relaxing musical experience that lets you make music with the stars. To return to the night sky, simply remove the constellation from the ball, and you'll be right back into your room. There are 88 unique constellations in the night sky, so there's plenty to see. And remember that most of what you see in this experience is scientifically accurate. From the positions and names of each constellation to the colors and names of each one of their stars. So we hope that you not only relax, but learn something new as well. If you have any feedback, make sure to join our community at pillow.social to help us make stargazing even better. Have fun, and have a relaxing rest of your day. Okay, the one thing I like about the quest... Oh wow, my ceiling just opened up. That's amazing. So the one thing I like about the Quest 3 is how it can change the mood of your surroundings. During that tutorial phase it looked like it was night time in my room, but it's not. It's about, let me check my time, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. There's Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is shaped by five bright stars in a W pattern. In ancient Greece, Cassiopeia was the queen of Ethiopia. She was married to King Cepheus and the mother of Princess Andromeda. Andromeda was marrying the hero Perseus after he saved her from the sea monster Cetus. During the wedding, a fight broke out between Perseus and Phineas, a previous suitor who claimed only he had the right to marry Andromeda. Perseus was outnumbered and used the head of Medusa to defeat his opponents. Unfortunately, the king and queen did not look away from the gorgon's head in time and were both turned to stone as well. Poseidon then placed Cepheus and Cassiopeia into the stars where they would be remembered as constellations. That's really cool. If I place this in here, what's going to happen? There's a rocket. This is really, really cool, guys. I 
Coming in for the store. I can actually see myself falling asleep and a nap like this because it's so soothing. I'm Aquarius, so can I find Aquarius? It's really cool to see a hole in my ceiling. I thought this was going to be like a gimmicky type of experience. It's actually really cool. It would be nice to have like a drop down box where I can type in. There we go, find it. Aquarius. So this is my star sign look. Aquarius is one of the 12 zodiac constellations and can be found in the sky sea, nearby other aquatic constellations like Pisces the fish, Eridanus the river, and Cetus the whale. The name Aquarius in Greek translates to cupbearer and is said to represent Ganymede. Zeus was impressed by the handsome Trojan youth, and he sent the eagle Aquia to scoop up Ganymede and fly him to Olympus so he could serve ambrosia to the gods. This is amazing. Okay, there's 17 stars in Aquarius, so we just point and click. It would be nice to be able to control the rocket with the uh, thumbstick. I'm not in control of the rocket, I don't think. We're like visiting stars, but I'm not doing anything. So is this just like a gimmick? Can we do two? Rockets away! We're missing two. One more to visit. Just over there. Constellation complete. Okay, what's next? We got the uh, fisherman. The fisherman, this is really clever. Welcome to our fishing dream. This is a relaxing daily experience that lets you use a magical fishing rod to fish from your ceiling. But you won't be fishing just for fish, you see. Each one of the fish you catch is actually a voice message left by another dreamer just like you. Every day our fishing experience gets updated with a new unique pond, which will ask our community a different question. You can then catch the fish to listen to the responses of other players. And once you're done with your session, you can leave your own response behind by grabbing this little fish egg to your right, speaking into it, releasing it, and throwing it back into the pond for others to find. The fishing minigame is simple. All you have to do is turn your rod to the left and to the right to match the patterns. And if you ever want to stop a fish from playing for whatever reason, simply throw it back into the pond. I'm sure he won't mind. If you have any feedback, make sure to join our community at pillow.social to help us make fishing from your ceiling even better. And as always, make sure to come back tomorrow for an entirely unique pond. Have fun! and have a relaxing rest of your day. See the uh, colour around the uh, windows changed to like a dark colour. Okay, we have a rod. Uh, this is really strange seeing all the uh, water effects. Okay. Interesting. It's really strange seeing a piece of string hanging from uh, my ceiling. I'm only holding the uh, the rod. Okay, we need to do that, then that. Oh, 
Oh, that's so cool. My dream is to have a village of sustainable small homes that have different architectural styles and different themes in each one of them. And then I could have creatives from around the world come together and stay at these places for like a month or something. And then also have a community space in the center where everyone will come together, have like dinners, uh, maybe be able to work together, um, just do community things. And then at the end of the day, they go back to their place. And then that, the advantage of that would be like, you know, whenever I felt like it, I could switch it up and go to like the Hobbit hole or go to the one that's a tree house or one that's uh, a bit more modern and you know, feels like um, I don't know, more minimalistic. I think that would be amazing. Okay, that's pretty cool actually. So we throw it back in. I'm going to get one more. The dream that I'm still chasing today is to find my forever career. I feel like when I was younger, I definitely had a different idea of what postgraduate life would be like and adult life would be like. <clears throat> I guess I thought it would be easier to just finish school and then start, you know, doing what I was going to do for the rest of my life. And it, life is just not like that. So definitely finding where I'm meant to be, um, where God wants me to be, and pushing forward with that. Okay, so this is pretty cool. When the fish comes out of the pond on your ceiling, and uh, beyond the pond, there's actually stars as well. Yeah, when the fish comes out of the uh, pond, there's like a little package attached to it. That's the answer. So I'm going to leave uh, a response as well. If I grab this, grab to record your answer. Okay. Do Quest 3 users dream of mixed reality sheep? There's my dream fish. Do I throw that into the pond? I should have said PD here. Come back tomorrow for a new pond complete that was really cool the meditator and uh, these graphics look amazing guys I like how the little sheet waves to you as well when it comes down welcome to our meditation dream this is a relaxing meditation experience where you team up with a magical moon to create worlds using the power of your breath. Give the moon a hat to pick a vibe, and then once the session starts, put your hand or controller on your belly so we can track your breathing. Now all you have to do is relax for five minutes and watch as your reality transforms into something completely new. Interesting. All of our meditations are designed to be fun while also following scientifically backed breathwork practices. So this is a great dream for you to do every day before going to bed or when you're just about to start out your day. If you have any feedback, make sure to join our community at pillow.social to help us make your daily meditations even better. Have fun and have a relaxing rest of your day. That's a really interesting concept that they can use the controllers and the haptics to measure your breathing imagine something like this with the uh, fitbit i've got a fitbit on my hand look this will record all my sleep patterns it tells me all my rem sleep deep sleep light sleep how much sleep i've had each night so imagine an app like this that connects to the fitbit as well the possibilities are endless pick a vibe give mooney a hat so in front of me is this uh, moon character, it's all in 3D, 
and it's floating in front of me. Shall we give him a chill hat? And you drag these icons into the uh, appropriate places, look. So we Let's put this on up. Today we're going to be dreaming up a beautiful beach using our simplest breathing pattern. You will breathe in for four seconds through the nose and then breathe out for four seconds through your mouth. So get cozy on your bed, put your hand on your belly, okay. and prepare to enter the land of dreams as we bring your beautiful beach to life. So breathe in through the nose on the count of one. weird. Breathe in through the nose. Three, four. Breathe out. Three, four. And in. Three, four. And out through the mouth. Three, four. Breathe in. Breathe out. And in. Not too keen on this experience. Okay, how do I quit? I don't like this one. It's not giving me a visual feedback that I was expecting. Maybe I need to give that one a bit longer. It's a really cool concept. It was really interesting to see my breath coming out of my mouth as well and then going back in. So we have a couple more here. We've got the storyteller and multiplayer. Um, I don't know if anybody's playing. It'd be interesting to see if anyone's playing. Welcome to our bedtime stories dream. This is a relaxing, interactive story experience that lets you use a magical storybook to explore dozens of unique, interactive, immersive stories. Place options into the book to craft the kind of story you want, and make choices along the way to impact the narrative as you visit a number of different worlds. Each one of our stories has over 50 unique endings, so make sure you play them again to see what kinds of things you missed on last time. If you have any feedback, make sure to join our community at Pillow.Social to help us make our stories even better. Have fun! and have a relaxing rest of your day. If you're wondering what I can see right now, the pillow and these objects are floating about where my hands are now in my actual play space. So it's about like two feet in front of me. The setting is going to be sci-fi. The genre is going to be adventure. Character, let's go for a meme. Look at the candles. The hunt for Harold. I like how the book's got eyes. In the year 2727, memes have come alive in a universe brimming with humor and adventure. Poor Hide the Pain Herald has been lost in space for 30 years. From the bustling planet of Doge, you could become Captain Shibainu Fluffybutt, a lovable meme dog on a mission to save Harold. Alternatively, you could hail from the grumpy planet Grump, becoming the ever-determined Captain Grumpy Cat 
leading your own rescue mission. Who will you be in this cosmic meme adventure? Choose wisely. Okay, we're going to lead a rescue mission. And there's like a, a world behind the book in like a portal. Again, that's As like three dimensional. Cat, you're lounging in your spaceship, your tail flicking in annoyance. Your whiskers twitch, sensing the distant signal of Hide the Pain Herald. Can I move the book? Do you, in your wonderfully grumpy way, ignore the signal and continue lounging? or choose to investigate, risking your cozy solitude for a chance at glory. I'm going to investigate. There's something behind the book, but I can't see it, because there's books in the way. Why can't I move the book? So that I can see the pictures, that would make a bit more sense. Suddenly, the spaceship's alarm blares, interrupting your solitude. A massive asteroid field lies directly in your path. Do you plot a careful course around it, or do you, Captain Grumpy Cat, dare to plow right through, risking your ship for the fastest route to the signal? I can move the candles around. Developers, why can't I move this book so I can see the pictures behind? I want to see that picture behind the book. I think you've missed an opportunity here. The 3D depth there, at the top of the, the uh, spaceship, is amazing. I can move the candles, but I can't move the book. That does not make sense at all. We're going to uh, fly through the asteroids just like Han Solo. The spaceship shudders under the impact of the asteroids. You hold on tight, teeth gritted in concentration. Your body aches from the strain. I want to move the book, please. Come on, developers. Can I sit up and look at the pictures through the book? That's an amazing picture, guys. Why can't I see these pictures? So there's like a note here to join the community at pillow.social. Make friends and help us make pillow even better. This has got a lot of potential. This is showing me why mixed reality could be a really cool future entertainment for gaming. This is so unique. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going for a nap now. Bye. If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? As I was walking from the, the, the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something. But I actually just went, <laughs> I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic happen. So you tried to salvage it? <laughs> Nathie, Nathie, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. 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 That oh. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. By you. <laughs> 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 Might want to um, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, he's <laughs> really. His eyes have been no, fixed. Around. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs>
Oh, off track. PD, I saw I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you? Steve? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, so did, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> sorry, for that. We're sorry, man. Sorry, man. He's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? What's going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing that. What is blissful life to be looking for Steve? <laughs>